Oh, it, what was really impressive, if, if you look back, when you go to, back to watch this again, and everybody watches it once or twice, I'll be watching it again. When you watch from season one, and as the show became more popular, when you go from there to the last season, and see the difference in scale, in scope, of this uh, extraordinary show, um, and especially with the battle for Winterfell, um, that, the, the scale of that was ridiculous. We spent 55 nights um, for one episode, just the night shoots, in very difficult conditions. Doing battle scenes is always very hard. And to be involved in something that epic is, uh, is very unusual, and especially on television. Um, I've worked on movies that have taken half the amount of time that that episode took to shoot. It was pretty amazing. Oh, the, the, the future. Um, it's very interesting. Isaac made a good point earlier on. He said that because Bran can see everything, because he can walk, it's like living in a surveillance state, um, uh, which is, uh, can be a little bit difficult. But he's, Bran is a good man. If we look around the, the, the table at the end, I mean, you have Tyrion, who's, who's a good guy. Uh, Brienne, she's a, a good woman. Um, we, everybody around that table, uh, Samuel Tarley. The future looks much better for Westeros than it did before the, the, the battle in, uh, King, of, King, of King's Landing. Well, the, it's a, that's a good, good question because um, the show is about power. It's about the, the corrupting nature of power, what power can do to good people. It's a, it's a drug. It's a very, very dangerous drug. Um, and uh, I, I think there's a, there's a lesson. Uh, what, what's interesting about the show is that if, if you tell stories properly, uh, they say that drama can hold a mirror up to society. Uh, they can show what society is, is, is sort of really like. And with our fantasy world, our imaginative world, um, it's sometimes it's a little easier to, to, to comment on the current situation of the world. I mean, it's why our orange friend in Washington is, was using Game of Thrones uh, references. Um, and a lot of people around the world uh, do, a lot of governments do, a lot of politicians have used the expression. It's no coincidence. Uh, uh, well, it's terrible. I mean, Annie, you, you, listen, we've we had it for a long time in Ireland. Uh, we've had trouble with people wanted to be separate and all that sort of thing. Uh, you've got to you've got to you've got to do things where people don't get hurt, and that's the most important thing. Um, and uh, a peaceful resolution is always what people want. But you have to take into account people's opinions if they differ from yours, and you have to be respectful of them. That's just being human. Um, you you can't. Uh, you can't get people to change people's minds by using sticks. Oh, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of weird ones. Uh, Isaac still laughs about um, that he that the theory was that he was the Night King, um, and it was also uh, Varus whose costume is over there. Uh, I did see a ridiculous one where they thought he was some sort of mermaid or merman. Uh, there's been all sorts of. That's that's what was great about the show. People were speculating right up to. We used to do it on set. We would be sitting in costume between scenes, uh, and we would be looking at each other, going, "Who do you think will end up on the throne?" We used to have the same conversation as fans. It's a wonderful thing. Oh, Stannis! I, but but that was for selfish reasons. I loved working with Stephen Delane. Um, he's a remarkable actor, and I had a huge amount of respect for him before we came on. Uh, also, this lady, the red woman, um, I'm a huge fan. She's a friend of mine now. Uh, I'm, I made a movie with Carice before we started Game of Thrones. Um, and I just, it, as an actor, you just want to work with the best people. And um, Nina Gold and Robert Stern, they cast, the casting on this was incredible. Uh, every actor wanted to be on Game of Thrones because of the quality of the storytelling. Um, just beautiful work to do uh, and I was very lucky you, you, you got to work with you know just some of the best actors that Europe provides uh, there was very few apart from Peter uh, there was no 
Americans on the show. It was all European actors and, um, uh, and some South American actors, and it was just it was just wonderful. A wonderful ensemble of actors. It was it was unrepeatable, unique.